All right, well, those temps going to warm up. Summer is on the way. So we're just talking best practices to stay safe when you're in the sun uh, this summer. We've got Dr. O'Halloran uh, with OSF this morning, just helping us out, helping us stay safe. Thanks so much for coming in. Of course, happy to be here. So uh, you have experience, you know, really helping folks stay safe and just check themselves uh, during the summer months. Uh, what, first of all, it's kind of confusing. There's so many SPF, so many sunscreens out there. What do you tell people? What's really the best option? So I tell people that SPF 30 or higher, okay. and our biggest problem is reapplication. Sure. Once is not going to do it. you got to reapply that every two hours throughout the day, which is hard to do when you're out having fun. Yeah, definitely. I know my dad and I play tennis a lot, and we're like, okay, should we bring the sunscreen with us? How long are we going to be out there? <laughs> uh, so that's definitely important to do. So like SPF 15, you know, that there's SPF 15s, SPF 10s, all those. Those probably not helping you too much. Something is better than nothing, okay. that's for sure. But what I tell my patients is stick with SPF 30 or higher. It'll give you the best protection. Um, but it's also, I don't know that SPF 75 is sure. going to give you that much more protection okay. than a 30. And uh, there's obviously different skin types. Uh, what is the most important, you know, if you're heading outside, uh, you know, what are the areas, uh, you know, that people forget you see, you know, when they come in that they're not, you know, protecting themselves from? Sure. Um, you know, barriers are even better than sunscreen. Okay. So wide brim hats, long sleeves, um, and long pants are really what's going to protect you from the sun the most. Sure. Um, but with our ball caps, we often forget about the tops of our ears. So lots of people will come in with skin lesions on the tops of their yeah. ears, um, sides of their face. But anywhere the sun is exposed, so shoulders, chest, um, on your forearms are the places that I tend to see skin uh, cancers and lesions the most often. Sure. And if you have a bad burn, um, is, is that area more uh, important to protect later on if you, if you come outside again after a severe burn somewhere? Unfortunately, a severe sunburn at any time in your life, even in your childhood, increases your risk of skin cancer throughout the rest of your okay. life. So if we can prevent any sunburns as, as possible, we should certainly do that. And is there anything, you know, you, you go outside, you realize you come inside, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm red, I, I got burned. Is there anything right away that you can do to, you know, alleviate anything or is, it, is the damage already done? The damage is done. Okay. Uh, you can treat yourself symptomatically. You know, you can put aloe on to make yourself more comfortable, of course. But there's nothing you can do to undo the UV damage once it's already done. Okay, well, Dr. Eileen is going to join us in our next half hour, really showing us, you know, there's so many marks on our bodies. We don't know what's dangerous, what's cancerous, what, you know, could, needs to be checked. You're going to kind of help us with that in just a little bit. So we appreciate best practices ahead of summer right now. Well,